right, so today I'm up in the shed, and what I am doing is, is I'm building a table to go beside my work desk, and this is going to hold our gaming systems, the Nintendo 64 and the Wii and all that, to get it up off the floor. So I went to Menards, and I bought some of these uh, pre-glued uh, tabletops. This was a four-footer. I have cut it in half, and now I have two two-footers. This is the five-quarter thick. And I bought one three-foot length piece of the thinner. I think it is three-quarter inch thick, but it's a thinner board. I cut it down to a two-foot piece with one foot of offal, and I drilled a hole in each of the corners. Now, the thicker boards is going to be the top, the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to have a piece of pipe between the two. So it'll be a board with a pipe coming up and a board on top. So this is going to be in the corner. Uh, there's going to be one of these flanges in each corner with a pipe coming out of it. So what I did is, is on the, the middle board, I'm just going to have the pipe pass through it just like this. So the pipe is going to come down. It's going to go through this one down to the bottom board, which will be this one. So I had to locate where this is going to be, but all of the all of the boards are the same size. So I laid this on top of the I laid this flange on top of the board in the corner. Then I drew a circle there. Then I then I took my hole saw and I drilled a hole saw to the size that is the outside diameter of this pipe, so it could pass through it. So I've got my top and my bottom, and then this is the middle piece. I'm going to flange this pipe on one side and uh, start assembling it to kind of get a good idea of what it's going to look like. Before you get it going and start construction on this, you need to take all of the pipe fittings and the pipe pieces themselves. I bought pre-length 24 inch because mine is going to be 24 inches tall. Turn out just perfect. So they're already threaded and good. And you got to wipe these down. You got to get off all the cutting fluid that comes from the factory with these black iron pipe fittings. Uh, you'll work with them a little while and your hands will turn black because of that oil that's on there. So uh, take a few minutes, get you some cleaner and a towel, clean off all the fittings. All right, let's look at how this is going to go. This will be the bottom. This is going to be the bottom piece. Sits on the floor. There'll be one of these pipes in each corner. Something similar to this. Then there is going to be the middle piece. I'm going to put that there as a spacer. This will be the shelf that floats up and down. I'll have to show you some of my ideas of how I'm going to permanently attach that at the whatever height. Something like that. I'll let that slide down. What that's also going to do is tell me where that's located. Where each one of those flanges are located. Before I go and screw those down. Then, there'll be a flange on top. These all get tightened down a lot tighter and aligned to where the screws aren't near the edges and then they have paint be painted also and then these, these boards will also have to be uh, stained and then the top deck will go on so technically when it's all said and done that's what I'll have. I'll have a bottom, a top. This will be bolted down, bolted by the flanges. The shelf will be pulled up to a certain height. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna figure a way of getting that held into space so it'll have a shelf. And then uh, 
Put some stain on it. For the bottom, underneath, because this is, will be pulled out and used, I bought some wheels. I got two different types. I went to Harbor Freight. So I haven't quite decided on which one, which way I'm going. I don't know if I'm going to use a, a regular screw in one that these kind of look like roller roller blade wheels, or I just have I have the regular uh, wheels, four screws, screws on, and that will go into the bottom, so that I can pull it in and out. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put an outside skirt on it to hide to hide the wheels. I may, who knows. Just going to get this together and see what it looks like. See if uh, see if we end up liking it, and uh, you know if it's going to work for us. And uh, yeah, uh, the stickers to scrape off. I have to scrape those stickers off, but then, and I'll do that because I inevitably we'll have to uh, uh, prep those and then paint them just solid black. Put a good new solid black coating on. But yeah, it's a very simple table. Uh, I'll show it to you when we get done and. Uh, Figure out exactly how I'm going to hold the shelves up. I think I'm just going to drill a hole, and drill a hole into the board. I might go in the board, through the pipe, into the board, and then just put a peg in it to hold it. I may drill into the shelf, drill into the pipe, tap the pipe with a with a threader, and then just screw a screw in just enough to hold it. It's just got to hold up video games, so it's it's nothing highly extravagant. So. Yeah, easy project. Well, as you can see, I've got it all completed. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to turn the recorder on whenever I was upstairs uh, or up in the shop finishing it up. But uh, here it is all completed. Uh, all I did was bolt it together. So, uh, and we got it on wheels, as you can see, it rolls around spins around quite nice these are some just some containers that I got at Menards for storing uh, controllers games and things of that sort then my uh, gaming system will go up on there and uh, yeah we got it moved up here onto the loft so uh, we're ready to uh, get it all set up and uh, that'll be it so uh, hope you liked it nothing complicated very easy to do so uh, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Monkey ball! Works good. Thank you.